Right, morning tubers. Right, got a few things to let you know what's going on. I was talking to a friend on Facebook the other day and he mentioned that he knew where there was an XL125S. The only trouble was he was the other side of London and he decided it was too far but he'd let me know. So, within a few hours we was off old Boudicca 100 and odd miles to go and look at this bike so I ended up there so this one has been re relegated to outside for the night and here's a new project that's coming up that one will be taken down the farm but is the new project the XL 125 S I have took the battery off so I wanted to see if the battery would charge up but I haven't looked at it yet other than that so but the thing was when I was there he happened to mention it got another one so it'd be rude not to have a look while I was there so I'll just open this up and see if we can sneak in here To wedge it. I also ended up buying another bike in bits. My plan with it, it's supposed to all be there, but as they always say, all the bits are there. So I'm going to go through what we have got, what we haven't got. It was supposed to be an XL one, uh, 125S, but when I looked at the engine, it looks like a CG engine in it. But it don't matter. I just thought there's an awful lot of spares there, and as we know, trying to find spares for the XLs can be a real nightmare. So I bought it anyway. We'll go through it. We'll go through the boxes of stuff, see what's there. It's got a logbook to it. It's on a Q plate, which I didn't realise at the time, but the frame does actually, when I get, finally get it out, I'm sure it is an XL 125S frame. Some nice parts to it. I mean, the handlebars are nice, the headstock. The frame looks really clean as well. So maybe the XR I've got that we, we're struggling to get parts for, maybe build one bike out of the two. Got a nice exhaust, nice micron. Nice micron exhaust. Headlights, uh, forks, wheels, we'll have to just go through everything. Right then. The Chinese bike, the bits I was short of to finish it, I've got them now, I've got the air box. This piece here was missing on it with the air filter in there. Managed to get that. Got the oil filter. So I'll stick them on and that'll be totally finished. I have actually made a mud guard out of some old inner from a, an old bike I had and I just made it and if you can see it on there. So that now 
should pass an MOT. First thing I'm going to do to this, I'll try the battery, see if it works. But I'm going to dump the oil out of it. Just because I don't know how long it's been in there, I don't know how clean it is. The bike does run. It started first kick, but the top end seems a bit rattly. I don't know if it's the tap it wants setting on it or the cam chain wants adjusting. There's nothing too serious that we can't sort out. So I'm going to get it up on the stand and dump the oil out of it. Right, I've undone the oil, dumping the oil out of it now. The oil don't look too bad, it's dirty but there's no metal bits floating around in it. That's a bonus. I'll just have a quick look around it. It has got the infamous case on it. Which is rare to find. It's got the normal thing where that's been broken. But that's on most of them these days. They're heading to 40 odd years old, 40 years old, so at least it's got that bit. Right, I'm still draining the oil. It's got a lovely bodge repair here. I'm sure we can sort that out. Because as we know, the back lights for these are hard to come by. But we'll wait our time, we'll get one. Shocks look new on it. Looking good, Nick. The infamous battery box has been welded up. May have one of them on one of the other bikes. Heat shield. Homemade. We may have another one of those. We'll see what we've got. We've got bits lying around. Because as you know, we don't get rid of anything. What's it got on the clock? 7192. Oh. Main bits are there. I think we can't sort out. Well, bored while I was waiting for the oil. Then took the tank off, took the seat off. The battery was totally flat. It got one one amp in it, or volt. So I'm gonna stick that on charge and see if we can get that to come back. I'm messing just done a quick compression test, which to me is a bit low, which is a hundred. But we don't know how long this bike sat at the minute so maybe when it's run it'll come up with a bit more compression for all we done was kick till it started first kick so and it wasn't smoking the person I got it off said he was running it right up to the end of the MOT and then just parked it up and got on with the other bike so, uh, I do believe him, so we'll have a check, see when it was last on the road. I'll just check the MOT, the last time it, the MOT expired, I think it was April 2018. So, we know how long it's stood for now. Mileage is genuine on the previous MOTs that you can check through 
So that's the original mower. So hopefully, let me adjust the valves, well the tappets, and the cam chain, that should be alright. And hopefully the engine, once it's been run a bit, will bring its compression back up a bit. Right, oil change. Check the oil. That's bang on. So that's the oil changed on it. So what should we look at next? Well, we'll have to just, just keep plodding away, just keep going over it. Right, Tommy's just giving it a little play. It is rattling on the top end. The cam chain wants adjusting. got to sort out this rattle on the top end but with 7,000 mile on it I can't see bar the adjuster is, is frozen I can't see the being really anything but that we'll have a play with that see if we can quieten it down a bit right I ain't got a clue what's going on with this engine you listen Hear it? Then it disappears and comes back. It's gone. It's back. It's gone. It's back. I have no idea. Oh, there you go. Right, we've re checked on the tappets, they're fine. Check the timing, and they started up the valve covers off. Have a listen to it then. What we've decided with this one, we're going to finish that one off. It only wants a little thing doing to it. We've got the parts for this one. We've got the air filter box now, which is here. So we'll stick that in, we'll stick the oil in that one. We'll have two bikes finished. And then I think we come to the conclusion that we're going to whip the engine out of this get it on the bench strip it find out where that noise is coming from we know it's got low compression so maybe put either another jug on it piston and rings well once we know why it's making that horrible ticky noise so we'll get these two finished first and then we can concentrate on this one. Right, this is the bit that wasn't with the bike, but we've managed to get one. So we'll drop the air filter in. It should quiet it down a bit. So let's put the oil in it and filter. It's all ready for it. And the 
and stick this one down the farm out of the way for a while. Tommy's bike's finished, we had to make sprocket guard, so we can't get one anywhere. So that one's ready for the MOT now. The black one, all finished, that's ready for an MOT. So the decision is, this one, I think we're just going to drop the engine out and rebuild it. Right, then they're all finished, so we're going to whip the engine out of this now and get it on the bench. Well, there we go. We whipped that out. It took us probably 35 minutes, 40 minutes, as if by magic. It's on the bench, ready to be stripped and find out what's up with it. Right, as you can see, we've got it in bits. Let me uh, just put a bit, of light, a bit of light for you. Right, the lobes on these look absolutely fine. There's no wear on them, nothing. Inside, the cam looks absolutely perfect. Cam looks perfect. The only problem we found, let me spin this round, is when you release this, you undo this, you should put the tension on the chain. That's undone, which I tried earlier. That's not working, if you can see. The chain is still loose, so I reckon inside here there's an arm, a spring, and I think it's seized. So I think if we take that off, have a look inside there, find out what's going on. The only other thing I've found wrong is I think there's one of the advanced. I've got to have a look. One of the advanced and retard springs isn't on there. So I'll check up. Maybe one's broke, but it's not in there. I should imagine there should be two. So I'll have a look at that. But the, everything looks perfect in there. There's no wear. It's 7,000 mile on. There shouldn't be. My gut feeling is saying it's here what's causing it and the chain's been catching and giving the tinkly noise out so I'll strip it out tomorrow, I've had enough for tonight 